Pero la serpiente era astuta, más que todos los animales del campo que Jehová Dios había hecho, la cual dijo a la mujer, ¿Con qué Dios os ha dicho? ¿No comáis de todo árbol del huerto? Hmm. Esa es la serpiente, was astuta. What is that all about? He was tricky. He was an engañador, right? He wanted to deceive people. Well, why was the serpent that, you guys? Because who was it? It was Satanás, right? It was Satan. Let's, let's find something out about Satan before we go through this story even more. Let me give you a verse. Go to Isaiah 14. Go to Isaiah 14. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see how fast we can go. If not, you can stop your video. Isaiah 14. 12 through 15. Here we go. Put your finger on verse number 12. Isaiah 14, Isaiah 14, 12 a 15. ¿Cómo caíste del cielo, oh lucero, hijo de la mañana? Cortado fuiste por tierra, tú que debilitabas a las naciones, tú que decías en tu corazón, subiré al cielo en lo alto, junto a las estrellas de Dios, levantaré mi trono y en el monte del testimonio me sentaré a los lados del norte, sobre las alturas de las nubes subiré, y seré semejante al Altísimo. Who is Altísimo? The highest, 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 who's that? God. Mas tú derribado eres hasta el seo. That's hell. A los lados del abismo. So look, that was a story about Satanás. Remember, why was Satanás now in the form of a serpent on the earth? Because he became Satanás when he got kicked out of heaven. Why did he get kicked out of heaven? Because he was so orgulloso, he was so proud, he wanted to be God. Unfortunately, that's really sad because he was given one of the most important jobs in heaven. He had one of the most important positions in heaven to guard the throne of God. He had a beautiful robe that had beautiful piedras and stones, diamantes and rubies and jasper on him. But it wasn't enough for him. He wanted to be the best. He wanted to be God. That's why, guys, God does not like it when we're orgullosos. Because what happens when you're orgullosos? You can't be with God because you want to be so much better than everyone else. You don't care about anybody else but yourself. And that was Pekao. So God had to kick Satan out of heaven. So now he wanted to go destroy creation. He wanted to go make an error in creation, something that God had made. So let's see what he did. Go back over to Genesis and let's go to verse number two. So in verse number one, The serpent comes to Eve and says what? I know we talked about this story recently, you guys. But now that we're in our Bible journal, we're going to hear just a couple minutes of it again today to talk about what happened. Because this is a super important story. What did he say to her? ¿Con qué Dios o has dicho? ¿No con maíz de todo árbol del huerto? Okay, let's see which, what happens. Y la mujer respondió a la serpiente, del fruto de los árboles del huerto podemos comer. Pero del fruto del árbol que está en medio del huerto, dijo Dios, no comeréis de él ni le tocaréis para que no muráis. Okay, so he said, she said, look, we can eat of anything. Yeah, it's just that one tree in the, the middle. He said not to eat because we would die. So look at verse number four. Entonces la serpiente dijo a la mujer, no moriréis. Sino que sabe Dios que el día que comáis de él, serán abiertos vuestros ojos y seréis como Dios, sabiendo el bien y el mal. Guys, when we sin, when we're going to do something bad, do we say that it's bad? Mm -mm. 
We make excuses for it, right? We who see the car, don't we? We make excuses. We say, well, like, my mom didn't really say that I couldn't. She didn't tell me I couldn't. So it should be okay. Or that's not really that bad. That's not the regla. That's not a rule. No, it's okay. Or if your mom or dad or teacher tell you something and you obey a little bit, but you disobey a little bit. Guys, if you disobey a little bit, you disobey what? The whole thing, right? Obedience is when you obey the whole thing, not just a little bit, right? Or if your mom tells you, go do this, and you say, I'm going to act like I didn't hear her. Oh, I didn't hear you, right? But you did. We all make it sound so good up in our mind, and maybe you do engage your mom. Maybe you engage your teacher. Maybe you engage your tío or your dad, right? But who knows what you did? God does. And it's the same thing here, right? Eve didn't, it didn't bother Eve. It did not molest our Eve at all that she couldn't eat the tree in the middle. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but Satan wanted to put it in her head. But why can't you eat the tree? Well, Eve said, God said I would die. You won't die, he said, right? It's just that you're going to be like God and you're going to know everything. And God doesn't want that. Oh. So then she thinks, this is what we do too. Oh, las consecuencias no son tan malas entonces. Voy a saber mucho. Pues esa consecuencia no es malo. Right? Do we think that? And so he, she says, okay, I can do it. So do you think the same thing? Well, I'm just going to get extra tarea. Or I'm just going to get a beating. Todavía yo quiero desobedecer. Yo quiero pecar. Right? That's not good, you guys. We shouldn't think like that. Look at how much trouble Eve got in because of that. Look what it says in verse number six. Y vio la mujer que el árbol era bueno para, para comer y que era agradable a los ojos. Y el árbol codiciable para alcanzar la sabiduría. Y tomó de su fruto y comió. Y vio también a su marido el cual comió Así como ella. Entonces fueron abiertos los ojos de ambos y conocieron que estaban desnudos. Entonces co cosieron hojas de higuera y se hicieron delantales. Y oyeron, oyeron la voz de Jehová Dios que se paseaba en el huerto al aire del día. Y el hombre y su mujer se escondieron de la presencia de Jehová, Dios, entre los árboles del huerto. Look, guys. She ate it. Then she got Adam to eat it. And look at the serpent. Like, there we go. Misión cumplida. Right? And when God comes to talk to them, because, guys, God spent time with them every day. Don't you want to spend, wouldn't you love to spend time with God like that? Walking with God, talking with God, and he wanted to do that with all of us, but because of sin, we can't do that. But can we talk to him in our heart? Yeah, we can. If we get rid of that sin, right? And we ask Jesus Christ to come into there, right? When God came to see them, they escondieron, they hid, okay? Do we do the same thing when we do things that are wrong? We try to hide it. We try to esconder our pecado. But guys, tarde o temprano, Dios va a revelar eso. And those are the consequences that we see today. Okay? I'm not going to keep going because then it goes through 9 through 13. What does God say to Adam and Eve? But we're going to find out on Friday when we finish this Bible story. Okay? Because time went by fast today. It's okay because this is a little bit of a review lesson. So what are we going to do today? So that was Wednesday. We put our W on. Genesis 3, 1 through 13. You're going to do this one right here. Write one thought from your Bible reading this week. What's one thing that you're thinking about? Think about it, you guys. Like, What have you learned? What does it make you think about? What questions do you have? Right? Then you're going to do this one right here on the next page. Before Adam and Eve sinned, God came to them each day to walk and talk. 
What does that tell you about God? Ooh, good question. What does that tell you about God? And then this one, ooh, was it Eve's fault that Adam sinned? Tell me what you think. Was it Eve's fault that Adam sinned? And then the only other thing you're gonna do today is this one right here. This week, when I think of others, I want to remember to pray for who? I'm gonna tell you my answer right now. I want to remember to pray for everyone who has a family member who has coronavirus right now because Guys, we gotta be careful when you go out. You need to wear your mask. You need to wash your hands. You need to step in the little disinfectant stuff when you go somewhere, right? Okay? You're not gonna touch people because we wanna keep everyone safe, right? So let's pray for the families who have people with coronavirus and then so that they will get better quickly and not get worse, okay? So the, that's your homework for today. We're not going to do it together today because time went by so fast and there's only a few. And I know that you can answer them. Answer them well. Don't just put one, one word down, okay? Put more than that. Okay, think about it. Love you guys so, so much. And before we go, I wanted to put everybody's name up here to say happy Children's Day to each of you and so that we can pray by you by name today when we finish Bible class. Okay, so happy Children's Day to Jayla, Holly, Sama, Fernanda, Scarlett, Kiara, Safir, Emiliana, Keanu, Ariel, Ethan, Dueno, Mario, Frankie, Oscar, and Andres. Did you guys know that on August 26th, Mario had a birthday? Happy birthday, Daniel. Love you and miss you and pray that your year is amazing. Ethan has a birthday on September 14th, so that's coming soon, okay? So let's pray for them too. By your heads, close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today and thank you for each of these students. I pray for each of them and we wanna pray for them specifically by name that you protect their families from the coronavirus, that you help them to learn so much during virtual classes and that you give them a great day tomorrow. I pray for Jayla and for Holly and for Salma, Fernanda, Scarlett, Kiara, Safir, Emiliana, Kiana, Abiel, Ethan, Dueno, Mario, Frankie, Oscar, and Andres, that you give them a great day tomorrow and just help them with anything that may be going on with their families. We love you so much in Jesus' name, amen. Bye guys, have a great day.